Welcome to Cooking Conversations. Yes, I got me a mini dash pie maker. Yes, I was so excited to try this, but I am not gonna make pie out of mine. I'm gonna make a mini quiche. So it comes with this um, warranty paper, I guess. That's fine. And we're gonna unbox it and we're gonna try it out. All right, my lighting is kind of goofy this morning, but I don't have time to set up the lights and stuff. Okay, this looks like it's the pie cutter. Oh, let me take my pie crust out. Now, I don't make pie crust from scratch. I use Pillsbury. You can make it from scratch if you want to. This is easy. I can do this. All right, so this is the pie cutter. And based on the videos that I've seen, it says, oh, it even tells you. Okay. Right here, it says pie top and then pie base. So you use this part for the base, which would be the bottom, and then this part for the top. All right, that's good to know. And we are going to, it comes with a, I guess a recipe book. So you get a little recipe book, cleaning, maintenance, using your pie uh, maker, Huh, okay, that's good. Now, for the star of the show. Here is my little mini dash pie maker. These things are so, so cute. And yes, I got a red one to match my bunt maker. Here's the indicator light right here. And you open it up. Okay, and there's the Pie bottom, pie top. It feels like it's stainless, not stainless, but it's non-stick. So I'm still probably gonna, oops, put some um spray in it anyway. But you know what? I'm gonna wash it off real quick and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put together my ingredients. I'm gonna cook eggs in mine. Let's see, I saw a recipe, so this should work, all right? I'll be right back.
All right, you guys, as you saw, it took a little longer and it was a little bit juicy in the middle, but it is done. So I'm gonna take it out of here now and show you. And it, I didn't even have to spray it and it came out very easy. All right, so this is what it looks like. Not too bad for eight minutes. So that was eight minutes total. And I tried to time to see how long it would take, but let me unplug it. And we're gonna cut this open on camera because the video that I saw, they cut a lot of stuff off. Y'all know I show y'all everything. So let's see. Got the knife. Let's cut it open and see how juicy it is. Okay. Nope, it didn't work. Because look, it's still juicy in the middle. All right, so this was a fail, unless I just need to cook it longer. All right, but I'm out of time. So I am going to, I wonder if I put it back in. I cut it and I'm gonna put it back in, but that I'm gonna end the video here. I'll see you in the comments and let you know if it worked after I put it back in. But right now, it's a fail. See you next time, bye. y'all see that I put it back in and it got done so I guess it wasn't a total fail because I put it back in and it did cook all right so that's cheesy and creamy let's taste it I'm gonna be late for work trying to do videos <laughs> mm. you know what mm-hmm this works it ain't burnt it's cooked all the way through the crust is crispy, not like a cracker, but flaky, mm-hmm, seasoned. You know what, this work, you just got to cook it longer, okay? So don't think of it as a quick, quick, but it does work. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thanks for watching.